You know, it's the ones that got away that haunt me the most. And I'm not talking about Eleven. You're late. It's cold, it's dark. In addition to that, things are out of order in this town. Each case leaves me feeling number and number. Ever since my husband died under mystery, us, circumstances, I've taken his place and tried to keep things in sequence. Get comfortable, kid. And while we wait to head to the scene, how about I tell you about a case that we had to file? A case that did a true number on me. The filed case of when seven, eight, nine. I was dozing comfortably in my chair when an urgent <laughs> at the door bolted me awake. In came number six. Out of breath, sweating, trembling. He reminded me of an old lady's wet dog, one of those tiny ones. Seven is coming to get me! Now, as a private eye, I'm used to his type. Numbers, they're always stuck in a problem. But I'd heard about this seven fella. He was... odd. All right, all right. Take it easy, six. What's Seven up to? Well, word on the street is at 789, and now he's after me! Well, technically, Six, he's always after you. It's, it's five, then six, then seven. Well, you see, now that just proves it! <laughs> I tried telling Six to calm down, but it wasn't of much use. So I stand up dust myself off and address him one more time before heading outside. All right, Six, you listen to me. You're gonna stay right here and I'm gonna get to the root of this. Oh, well, I sure hope so. I fear that my days are numbered. First, I went looking for number eight. He's always stuck between seven and nine, but if six's days are numbered, eights are even more. He's an older feller, about five minutes younger than Betty White. I found him at the corner of 4th Street and 2nd Avenue. Mr. Aid! Huh? Mr. Aid, it is I, Private Eye. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Okay. I tried explaining the situation to him in hopes of getting some information in return, but it was of no use. Uh, well, if that's the case, I'm next in line! Oh. In a flash, number eight took off his belt, and now he resembled a zero. Good disguise. Taking out my flask, I place it between my lips and try to think. This wasn't easy math. What I needed was a strong lead. So I strolled into Cafe Uno. A ragged old place smelt like spilt orange juice and Crushed dreams. Let her be, I be from afar. We haven't finished business, her and I. Uh, private eye. The usual. She placed a plate of pie and a juice box in front of me after I thanked her. She gave me the scoop. Yeah, heard 789. Well, all right then. Have you seen Nine? Oh, no, negative. He just disappeared. I was starting to go mad. I needed more information, and lucky for me, that's when number 11 sat right beside me looking...
split. Now, seven and 11, two peas in a pod. If anyone was gonna give me any information, it'd be her. <laughs> No, 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 love. No, number seven couldn't have done it. Love, are you knackered? You must be knackered. Oh my God. One with a breath and I could have been knackered. <clears throat> are you sure about that? Well, of course I'm sure, love. I saw him leave. I saw him leave with, with me two eyes. I was starting to lose sight in me two eyes. <clears throat> Sending up, I think, to post letter B and 11 for their help. It wasn't making sense. If number seven was gone, then where was nine? It wasn't adding up. The odds were against me. Frustrated, I started heading back uptown and that's when I saw him crossing the street. Finally, I put two and two together. I had to get back to my office on the double. Bursting through my office doors, I saw number six taking 40 winks. <laughs> Finally, I'd solved this numerical nonsense. I went up to number six. I grabbed him by the collar and turned him upside down. Just as I suspected, my client number six was actually Number nine, you had us all worried, nine. Why did you say that, seven, eight, nine? Why? Seven gets all the attention. Lucky seven, seven wonders of the world, and Snow White and the seven dwarfs. Figures. Number nine felt like he didn't measure up. Oh, seven, seven. on their way to 10, and don't get me started on 10. Everybody thinks he's perfect. I zeroed in on nine. Are you kidding me? You should be on cloud nine right now, happy as can be the whole nine yards. How, how come? Because you've got nine lives. Ooh. As I tried knocking some sense into number nine, in came number 11 with a smile so bright, I had to take a couple of steps back. Look who's back! She announced and right in beside her came in number seven. Number nine shrunk down to the size of a comma before stammering out. <laughs> no hard feelings, seven, old pal. To which number seven replied, <laughs> well, of course, let's not be divided. <laughs> As a private eye, I know not to trust things at first sight. And number seven looked a little too happy for a number that just been framed. Why so happy, seven? Ah, well, me. You see me, I have just shared the seven. She's, I am in the seventh heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter filled the room and soon enough it was just me. I was left with a headache and a reminder as to why being an accountant was never, ever an option. <sighs> Finally, everyone was back in order and I could get back to the letter cases. Letters can be a little wordy at times, but they're A-OK -okay in my book. <sighs> the next day as I was trying to catch some Z's in my chair, my phone bolted me awake. <sighs> I'd recognize her voice anywhere. It was number two with another case to solve. I need to change my number.
Now, you see, kid, you can't trust anyone in this town. You've got to keep a eye out. Oh, it looks like they're here. But before we head outside, how about a toast? To keeping an eye out. And by that, I mean you, kid. The end. <laughs>